From WFRB-TV Local 5, your local election headquarters, this is Newsmaker Sunday with your host, Tom Zalaski. Good morning. Welcome to Newsmaker Sunday. I'm Tom Zalaski. April 7th, a new mayor gets elected in Appleton. After 24 years in office, current mayor Tim Hanna has decided not to run again. Two candidates are vying to take Mr. Hanna's place. Jim Clemens, a senior account executive with advocate Aurora. He is a former councilman and city council president. And Jake Woodford is a senior administrator with Lawrence University. He is also a commissioner on the Appleton Redevelopment Authority. Last week, we had Jim Clemens on the show. This week, Mr. Jake Woodford joining us. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Tom. Much appreciated. Good to be here. Right off the bat, what was the trigger for you to decide to run for mayor of Appleton? Is this something you've been thinking about for a long time? Was there an incident, an occurrence that happened? What made you say, I'm going to go for it? Well, well I've been thinking about serving my community uh, in, in some form for a long time. And uh, my education, uh, as, a, as, a, as I studied government in, in college, and uh, my, my preparation as a senior administrator uh, at Lawrence University, which you know, in some ways is, is itself like a small city. You know, we deal with right. similar kinds of issues. We have trash collection and snow removal, um, public safety, public health. Mm -hmm. uh, the, these, these are the kinds of things we deal with at the university. So uh, that, that preparation has really set me up for this work. And I, I think we're at a pivotal moment as a community. I mean, this is a, this is a major transition for us. And... I'm passionate about our community, and, and I have a vision for our future. What's the vision? What's the vision for Appleton? Yeah, so the, the, vision, the vision boils down to being uh, an affordable, safe, and welcoming community for all people. Um, but, but I've put together a more comprehensive vision document that's available on my website. On your website, at, right. At jakewoodford.com, uh, and, and that, uh, that, that spells out a little bit more in detail what I'm thinking about. Now, on that website, on your campaign website, uh, you say Appleton should be a welcoming place, a place where people can feel at home. What do you mean by that? Well, well I think this, this, this shows up for Appleton uh, when, we have, when we have major events in our community. Uh, I think Mile of Music is an awesome example of that. Um, when people come to our community and they experience the kind of welcoming, neighborly place that we are. And for me, this is about extending that kind of hospitality into everyday life in our community. But it's also about making sure that municipal government treats people equitably when they, when they interact with city government. Uh, so whether you're applying uh, to build a deck, you need a permit to build a deck, or you're paying a parking ticket, or you're paying your taxes, or you're, you're asking questions of, of your municipal government, you ought to be treated with respect and treated fairly. And, and, and that's what this is about. When you're out there on the campaign trail, what are you hearing? Well, well, as you know, uh, campaigning has changed a little bit for us uh, in, in the last couple of weeks um, with COVID-19. Um, but while, while I was out knocking on doors uh, and, and talking with people at their doors, uh, you know, in, the, in the primary race alone, we, we knocked on, my campaign knocked on almost 6,000 doors um, and had a lot of great conversations with people in our community. And uh, the things that are on uh, my neighbors' minds uh, are... Everything from the quality of our parks and rec, uh, pa a passion for parks and recreation, mm -hmm. our facilities and programs, uh, to concerns about property taxes. And uh, I, I think it's this wide range of perspectives in Appleton that, that makes us a, a, a great place. You mentioned earlier you called uh, Lawrence University a small community in itself, and right. you're an administrator of that small community. Right. How do you think that translates if you're sitting in the big chair in Appleton one day? Yeah, well, well uh, this is, uh, the, the role of mayor is, a, is an executive management role, fundamentally. Mm -hmm. And my role as a senior administrator at Lawrence has, has allowed me to work in every operating division of uh, a complex organization. You know, Lawrence is a $70 million a year enterprise. Um, so I've worked on issues uh, ranging from personnel to crisis management uh, m most recently right now uh, yes. right now uh, but but also uh, major projects facilities projects planning infrastructure um, and and also working with neighbors working with other units of government you know, I, I manage the relationship between Lawrence University and, and the city of Appleton um, so in that work I, I've I've really built the, the skills the core skill set that's required for a mayor you call Appleton a city of, of small neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. what, what did you mean by that? Well, this, 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 is, this especially came home for me when I was out in the community knocking on doors, uh, which is 
uh, Appleton, Appleton's made up of, of sort of units. Uh, there's the district level, so our aldermanic districts and then wards within districts. But uh, anybody in Appleton can name off a few of the neighborhoods uh, in Appleton. And uh, you know, we actually have a registered neighborhood program in the city of Appleton. There are about 21 registered neighborhoods right now. And that's a program that, that has sort of come up organically as neighborhoods have gotten together, maybe galvanized around an issue, uh, said, we really need to organize and, and work together on this. Well, I, th I think that there are more of those sort of natural neighborhood units in Appleton. And, and we need some more engagement from, from the city government to help uh, solidify those, those units, those, mm -hmm. those smaller neighborhoods within, within our community and create a little more identity for them. Um, you've talked about uh, pedestrian walkability and safety. Yeah. Uh, how close is the city to accomplishing that? I think this is ongoing work. Uh, this is the, the, the work of designing a city is, is ever-changing. I mean, you think about what has happened in the last 75 years in this country in terms of the way people move around in their, in their communities. Uh, you know, going from a, a, a time when public transportation was much more prevalent in places like Appleton. Uh, yeah, Appleton was home to the first uh, commercially viable electric streetcar in the country. Um, and so a legacy of public transportation in this country, of course, that has changed. Uh, so they pulled those tracks up. We don't have streetcars anymore. Right. Um, and you know, we're in a time where the way people move around communities is changing. Um, uh, and we will continue, I think, to see, see our communities change in those ways, just in terms of uh, self-driving vehicles and public transportation. Um, but pedestrian safety is, a, is a, for me, a fundamental piece of, of uh, the way cities uh, operate and, and the way we design our communities. Mm -hmm. Uh, we heard a lot about that in the, in the budget process this year for the city of Appleton. I attended the, the budget hearings. I was there for, for the public comment uh, that, that, that people brought. And there was a lot of interest in improving pedestrian really? safety uh, in those conversations, which is, which is encouraging. So for me, it's uh, in part taken from the work that I've done at the university to improve pedestrian safety around, in and around the campus. Um, but also recognizing that this is an issue that uh, community-wide people are, are interested in. And we continue our conversation with Jake Woodford, candidate for mayor of Appleton. Why don't we come back, so stay with us.